Welcome to this tutorial on how to update a Google spreadsheet row on updating an issue in Jira application. Guys, as project managers, we already know that keeping the track of various tasks and issues in Jira is really important and challenging. However, integration between Jira application and Google Sheets can provide you a easy and organized way to keep the track of all your projects and issues. And in this video, I'm going to show you a step by step process of setting up an integration between Google Sheets and Jira in such a way that whenever you update any issue in Jira, the corresponding row of Google Sheet of that issue will be automatically updated. And we can set up this automation without any coding just by a few clicks. So let's set up this automation together. To set up this automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I'm going to paste the same link in the description as well. And from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now from the given link in the description. After that, you have to sign in, then select the Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here. And from here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the workflow. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as Jira issues. Jira issue updates to Google Sheets. All right, so after giving such names, you have to click on this create button and you will see your workflow page loading up like this. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation. So trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So here in our use case, guys, updating an issue in Jira will act as a trigger and uh, updating the corresponding row in Google Sheet will act as an action. So here, guys, when you click on trigger, it will ask you to choose your trigger application. So in our case, Jira is our trigger application, Jira software. So you have to select this Jira software option. Then you have to select the trigger event as configure webhooks. So with the help of this webhook URL, we are going to create a connection with Jira application. All right. And after integrating Jira here in this workflow, we are going to capture the response of that connection. So you need to follow these steps written here to create the connection. You can read the instructions and follow them. Let me show you directly how you can do that. So this is my Jira applications dashboard and I'm managing a project here. So from here, you have to click on this settings option on the top right corner. And after that, you have to click on system settings of Jira. Under system settings on the left hand side bar, you have to scroll down and you have to find the advanced tab. Under advanced tab, you will find this webhooks option right here. Click on webhooks. And under system webhooks page, you have to click on this create a webhook button to create a webhook connection. Here you can give a name to this connection. So I'm giving the name here as Google to Google Sheets. Then you have to select the status as enabled. And here in the URL field, you have to paste this webhook URL. So you just have to copy this URL from here and then paste it here in this field like this. OK, right. After that, you can provide a description if you want, but it is not compulsory. Here you can provide a JQL or Jira query language query, okay, to select a specific project and under that you can select a specific task or issue as well. But right now I want to set up this automation for every project and for every issue. So I'm not applying any query here. You can use the syntax help and apply a query here. Here you can see we have this issues option. Under this issues option, check this updated box so that whenever you update the issue, the workflow is going to trigger with the help of this connection and start working. Okay, select that checkbox. All right. After that, scroll down and from here, click on this create button. And you can see a webhook has been successfully created. Okay. 
Now guys, here you can see as we have copied the webhook URL, here it started showing waiting for the webhook connections response. So this means now we have to perform a test submission. Test submission means now I am going to manually update any issue, any test issue in Jira and the data of that issue will be captured here in this response section. All right. So here you can see guys, I am going back to my Jira application and here I am going to open my project which is called uh, public connect project. Okay. Right under public connect project, I have these issues. So I'm going to select this, this one, you can see this is the issue named as real time test. And the code of this issue is PCP 108. And you can see uh, here that the status of this issue is in progress. Now I'm going to change the status from in progress to in review. Okay, I'm clicking on in review. Alright, so the status is in review right now, it got changed just in front of you. Now let me show you in my workflow, we got the data captured and here you can see we got the data captured as this Jira issue update is the webhook events name, the time zone of my account, my display name and when you scroll down here, you will find the issue key PCP 108 issue ID. And here when you scroll down, uh, the issue summary is real time test. Previously, this here you can find the categories in progress in review, the color code, and you can see all the things. And you, here you can see the project's name, the project key, the project ID. And when you scroll down, you will find the priority section, the issue type section, description, here is the description I have added, due date, and you will find here, when you scroll down a bit more, you will find the updated thing as well. Here you can see the change log items string label. Here it is showing that the item is changed to in review. Previously, it was changed from in progress to in review. Okay, right. So we got the status captured here. Now guys, I have the details of my issues already present here in this spreadsheet. So this is a Google spreadsheet and here I have the details of the same issues. You can see PCP 108 is here, real time test description, and you can see the previous status was in progress. Okay. Now I want that this status in this spreadsheet should be updated automatically whenever my team member changes the uh, status of the issue in Jira. Okay. I'm watching this spreadsheet and my team member is working here in Jira. So as he's going to change the issue update here, I should be catching that progress here in this status section. For that to happen, I'm going to connect my Google Sheets application here in the section step. So guys, select Google Sheets application. And first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to check if this issue whose, up, whose status is changed is present already in my spreadsheet or not. First of all, we are going to check that and if it is present, then we are going to update this cell value of the status column. So to check the data of my spreadsheet, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use this option, lookup spreadsheet rows, select lookup spreadsheet rows in the action event, then click on connect. From here, select add new connection, then click on sign in with Google. All right, and it will bring you to this window. From here, you have to select that Google account by which you have created the spreadsheet select that account. Then you have to provide some additional access to your Google account. So just click on continue from here. And you will see the authorization is successful and we'll be connected. So we are now connected and here it started showing this field select your spreadsheet. So when you click here, it will show you the list of all the spreadsheets that you have. And my spreadsheet name is this Jira issues. So I'm going to select it from here. Then you can see the sheet name is auto populated here because we have only one sheet here named as sheet one. Okay. And here it is uh, asking for the lookup column. Okay. So here it is asking in which column you want to look for a certain or a particular value. So in this column, you can see I have the issue keys in this column A. Okay. So guys, I'm going to search for this issue key that we have received here 
in this uh, trigger step in the trigger step you can see when you scroll down we have received the issue key here which is this now i'm going to search for this key here in this step so my lookup column will be column a so just put capital a here here and in the lookup value just map the issue key that you have received here in this first step so to map it here just click here and the previous step will appear in the drop down and when you click on it you will find all the data here only from here map this issue key label okay then include the headers yes sort value from the top yes then click on save and send test request and it is going to search for the issue key in your, in your spreadsheet and if you have this issue key present already in the spreadsheet it will give you this response it is showing done value is one and here is your issue key and this is the related data that you have in your spreadsheet in that particular row and here you can see the status is in progress that we have here okay the previous or the old status now i want to change this status but i want to change the status only when the issue is present in the spreadsheet so for that i am going to ensure this that my uh, issue is present in my spreadsheet for that to happen i am going to click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up here i am going to apply a filter condition so filter is going to uh, apply a condition that this issue is present and already in my spreadsheet now you can change the value or update the status column now how we can use the filter here you can see it is asking select the label so guys here i am going to select this label from the previous step uh, this issue key label okay we, we have rece received this row value issue key label because it was present in our spreadsheet and whenever you have the issue key present it will give you this label so i am going to map this label here select this label from the second step okay so guys uh, to ensure uh, how you know that the issue is already present the details of the issue is present in the spreadsheet by seeing that we have received the response and we have received the issue key label so this means whenever this issue key exists in this response of this spreadsheet that means we have the data and for that to happen select the filter type as exists and then click on save and send test request button and it will show you this uh, this message that the condition is true so whenever this condition matches true that means the previous steps shows you this issue key label then continue the workflow or otherwise stop this workflow right and by continuing what we want we want to update the cell value for that just click here on this plus icon and from this action step search for google sheets again okay and here now i am going to use an action event which is called update cell value select update cell value click on connect now guys we have already connected with our spreadsheet that is google sheets application and uh, every connection that you make in your workflows with every application is saved in your account so if you want to make the connection again with the same application in a same workflow or in a different workflow you can use your saved connections for that to happen just click here on this select existing connection option and it will show you the list of all the existing connections that you have from here you can select any one then click on save one more time and you will be connected again no need to log in again and you will be connected here you can select the spreadsheet sheets name and here it will ask for the range in which you want to update the cell so my cell is present here you can see uh, this is my cell that I want to update. I'm selecting it. And here you can see in the name box, it is showing E3. E3. That means we have the cell present in column E, row number 3. So here I'm going to put the range, capital E. And guys, for the row number, I'm going to use this previous steps data. This lookup spreadsheet rows uh, step. Here we have received this row index. You can see it is showing that this data is present in the third row. Okay. So I'm going to map this row index label here. After this E. From the second step, map the row index. So when you map the labels here like this, guys, what will happen with every execution of the workflow? That means whenever you are going to update an issue 
and that issue detail is present in your spreadsheet these uh, labels are going to be updated and the correct cell value will be updated automatically and what value you want to update I want to update the value that got changed and we have received the changed data here in the first tab and here you will find uh, this label here you can see you ha we have received this label change log item to string and from in progress it got changed to in review so select this option this label okay and here you can see guys we have in progress as a status right now let us check our connection i'm going to click on save and send test request and it will be changed to in review automatically okay so this is the response we have received and here you can see it got changed to in review automatically so that's how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and it is completely working fine and you have to set up it only once after that you don't have to even open this workflow it will run silently in the background and guys in real time whenever you are going to update any issue in jira and the deep and if the details of that issue is already present in your spreadsheet the cell value of the status will be updated automatically and you can use this same workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel